Hello all, it's Mr. Rowley again, just um, going on with our next part of uh, our light and sound unit. So we're going to start looking at reflection and why we actually see reflections, say, in a mirror or a window, but not in our wall. Um, so let's get started. So what do, what do we actually need to see a reflection? Um, and like I said, if you know you were go, going to your wall and you have a look at a wall, you don't tend to see your reflection um, back at you, but if you go to your window or your mirror, or you know your, your mum and dad's got a nice stainless steel kitchen, um, you'll see that reflection. Now, in that stainless steel kitchen, your reflection's not going to be as good as it is in a window or a mirror. So let's get to the bottom of why. Um, to get a really good reflection, you actually need a really flat surface, such as a mirror or a window. So if you were to actually put your hand over the mirror or the window, you'd feel that it's actually really flat and smooth, got a really smooth texture, um, meaning that it's really flat. Um, and that's going to be the reason why you see your reflection. So if we have a look at this little image here, remember that when you're looking at your reflection, again, you know, as all everything that we see is a reflection. Um, the reason you see your reflection so perfectly in a mirror or a window is because it is a dead flat surface um, and the light as it hits that mirror is bouncing straight back. All right, so um, that's why you see something um, in a mirror or a window that's a really good reflection. Um, so just that fact that it's flat and it bounces bounces back as, as, as it um, actually hits the mirror. So why can't I see my reflection on, the, on a wall? And it, and it wouldn't matter whether you painted your wall in a silver coat or whatever it may be. Um, you're not going to see your reflection in the wall because, you know, if you were to go and feel that wall, it's not as smooth as the window or the mirror. Um, and because of this, you know, we don't see our reflection. But as I've just got, got there, you know, the, the trippy fact about this question is your image is actually reflecting, reflecting off the wall, um, but your reflection, because it's not flat, is, point, is going off in all sorts of directions, which means it doesn't come back into your eyes and you don't see it. So you, you do make a reflection in the wall, we just don't see it because it's bouncing off in all different directions. Um, and that's what we call scattering. So if we go back to our first um, podcast about light, I said, you know, light can be scattered and that's why we see it because it actually scatters and bounces off particles. Um, you know, we don't see our reflection in a wall because it's so rough and um, it bounces off in all different directions. So let's have a look and see how, if we can explain this, if I can get my pen to work properly. All right, so here we are. This is my perfectly rounded head, which we all have, of course. Um, and I'm looking at my wall. So this would be a wall underneath the microscope. You can see that it's got lots and lots of, um, uh, you know, bumps and all that sort of stuff. So if I'm looking at it, of course, what I'm actually seeing on the wall is light that is bouncing back to my eyes. And in a flat mirror, if this was dead flat, the light would just go straight back into my eyes and I'd see it how it is. Um, but of course the wall, and just let me get rid of that if it's not going to let me get rid of my my mess that I've just made. Muck around with this a little bit, still not going to let me do it. My rubber's not working. Don't know what's going on. Uh, all right, we'll leave that line there for now. It's not going to help me any. Um, just check, get my red pen. All right. All right, so again, if we look at that, um, if we look at this one here, just say light's coming in um, and it gets to here, it's not going to bounce straight because we can see it's going to bounce off out that way. And I don't know why my pen's gone so thick. That's not good. So it's going to bounce out this way here. If it hits, you know, this side here, 
it's actually going to bounce out that way and if it hits here it's going to bounce out this way and as you can see none of this is sort of coming back into my eye so I can't see my reflection um, you know this one might come straight back out if it hits right on the edge but as you can see the lights just going everywhere it's scattering everywhere so I'm not actually seeing any of my reflection and that's why you don't see your, ref your reflection in a wall all right just because of the fact that the wall is just in it, it's imperfect um, the surface is imperfect it's not flat so why is it that um, you know what dictates the fact that all of the all of the light moves and bends and reflects off an image a certain way so let's sort of move into that now oh that's come up at the wrong time but that's okay so we're still looking at the re at reflection and there as in everything in science there's a law that dictates what's going to happen to light and that um, when we're looking at reflection um, we've got the law of reflect reflection that states that the incident ray and the incident ray is the ray that's coming from the light source so this the the ray that's actually coming into the mirror um, in the way that we're looking at it at the moment and the reflected ray so the ray of light that is actually reflected so what we actually see and the normal and I'll talk about what the normal is in a minute um, to the surface of the mirror all lie in the same plane um, and furthermore that the and the part that we really need to remember is that the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence and what that means is whatever angle of, if the mirror is flat whatever angle that the um, the light comes into it will reflect off at the exact same angle um, and that angle is taken away um, or measured from a, a line that we call a normal um, now the normal is a line that's drawn perpendicular and we should remember what perpendicular is 90 degrees to a surface at the point where the light ray meets it so this image here if we have a look at this we've got our incident ray so um, if I get my pen to work again so this here is our incident ray um, it's not working real flash all right so here's our incident ray so all this means is this is the light basically the light source and you know my writing's terrible on the board it's even worse on this all right so the light source is the incident rates where the light's coming from and generally you know when we're doing this we'll actually have our little arrows dictating which way it's coming in um, this is our mirror down here um, and you can actually see that um, the mirror down here this is where it's hitting and then we've got our reflected ray which is obviously the ray that's bouncing back off um, and this here is our normal this line here all right so what we do and this is easy on a mirror because it's a flat surface um, we have a look at our surface here which is runs across here that's not a very straight line by me all right and what we do is we find where that light hits so it's hit just here and we draw a line that's 90 degrees to that now in between here and you all should know from maths that when we see this symbol here this is saying that we have an angle an angle that we're going to measure all right that angle there obviously this is our incident ray so this angle here is called the angle of incidence all right so that's our angle of incidence so that's the angle that the light is coming in all right and we always measure that from the normal to the the incident ray so from this normal here to the incident ray so if we were to get a protractor there onto that um, I'd take a guess that from the normal to here I'm going to say that that might be about 30 degrees so if that's if I write in that that's 30 degrees um, this this one here so our line coming out here our reflected ray if I was to measure this one here which is the of course angle of reflection so angle of reflection it will be 30 degrees has to be all right so our angle of incidence must equal our angle of reflection 
Um, our angle of incidence is taken between our incident ray, so the, the, um, where the light is coming from, and the normal. Um, and the angle of reflection is actually measured from, you know, the reflected ray and our normal. Now you'll be doing some stuff on your light boxes um, and doing some single lines like this and we'll actually be doing a little bit of measuring and all that sort of stuff on this um, so we can get our head around what this normal is. Um, when we start to get further into um, looking at how light travels through different mediums we really need to get our head around what that normal is. But just remember for now that the normal is a line that's drawn perpendicular, which just means 90 degrees, to a surface at, at the point where the light ray meets it. And now that we're actually looking at mirrors, that means it's going to reflect. When we look down further down the track, we're going to be talking about a different angle. But for now, when we're looking at mirrors, we have an angle of incidence and an angle of reflection. And when a light ray comes in, it must reflect out at the same way. Um, we might leave it there for this video um, and I'll do another one um, uh, just going back over this and looking at say focal lengths and all that sort of stuff which again you'll be doing with your light boxes so for now this one's all we're going to do just remember that law of reflection um, and what we need to remember for that is that the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence that's all we need to remember about that and that the, the angles are measured between the normal and the incident ray or the normal and the reflected ray. So that's all we want to remember for this one um, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.